Hi, my name is Shalisa and welcome to So She Designs. So this is my Friday sews on a Saturday. So if this is something you're interested in, just stick around and see what I have to talk about on this video. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, so uh, this is my Friday sews. I'm a little late, I had a lot going on yesterday. Um, and I usually film my Friday sews on Friday. Um, so I'll talk about one of the things that I said I was going to do a video on was this cute little um, ring, um, a cute little ring pin cushion that I saw that was made out of a bottle top. I'm working on that, but in order for me to work on it and show you how to do it, I have to do it. So this week I did do it, but I didn't get a chance to film the video just because I want to show you, I feel like. If I'm gonna show somebody something, I need to figure out the, the easiest and simplest way to do it. So here's one, I did finish one and because the one I think I found was a little too big. So this one is actually my size. It is out of a bottle cap. I can put this on my finger while I sew and I think it's very cute. I also made one for like a bracelet out of a bottle cap. And this is just elastic, but I wanted to show you guys how I did this one as well. This one was a little bit more complicated. So I'm in the process of trying to get that together for a video, but that video hopefully will come out this week. But I thought those are two cute things that I were able to make and will can't wait to show you how I made them so you can make your own. This is a bigger cap. So, and I think I, I had, I bought a bag of, um, caps from this reuse center that I go to but um, they also had a metal one in there so I was going to try and see if I could figure out one more pin cushion to make out of that one as well so I'll have a video with three different pin cushions you can make out of a bottle top so that's what's going on as far as videos coming up um, this week I had a very blessed week I was giving I was giving patterns I was giving a dress form and I was also given fabric so I'm going to share you share with you what I received this week and I'm very grateful to the people who gave those items to me and especially um, all my fabric I plan to do something with but especially when someone gives me something I try to kind of step it up my game and make something out of something that they gave me to show my appreciation so that's one of my plans I've also noticed um, I'm new to YouTube as far as doing my sewing channel, but they, I guess at the beginning of the year, people do a make dime, which talks about their what they, what they plan to do for the upcoming year. So instead of making a make nine and instead of a New Year's resolution, I made something like a vision board, but I call it more of my goal board of things that I want to attempt to do for this year that I, I'm not gonna say attempt that I plan to do this year. So I'm gonna show you my my board and it's called my 2023 sewing goals. And ho uh, hopefully I'll put a picture up as well. Let me see if I can move you guys back so you can see. But it's just my, um, my board, I'm gonna hang it. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I was thinking about hanging it over here, but I got a whole bunch of interfacing and it's stacked to the ceiling so I can't hang it up there. So I'm going to find somewhere to hang it because I want to be able to see it when I walk into my room. So it'll remind me, okay, let's work on some, one of your goals. Let's, let's do something. So I finally had, I wanted to, um, I, want, I had so many decisions on what I was going to do for my logo. So I finally developed my logo and I wanted my logo to be kind of simple because I have an embroidery machine and I also have a digitizing program on my computer, but that's not what I do for a profession. So I want to be able to do it enough where I can utilize it. So I plan to make patches with my logo just to put on items of my own. And I want to be able to digitize it. And I feel like this is an easy logo I can do that with as well as make t-shirts or other items that I want to make. I'm also going to use this 
This is going to be my new logo for my bags and my clothing that I'm going to make tags for as well. One of my goals for this year is I want to attempt to make hats. I have on here made three hats, but I also want to make, um, I'm planning on sewing some hats, but I would also like to make a hat using um, some of the millinery supplies, like the, um, I, I can't think of what it's called. I think it's called Cinema, but it's like a straw that you use to make a hat. But I would like to construct of the three hats, one of those hats out of that. I also plan on making a two piece that's matching. Um, and I wanna use this particular particular pattern. That was the reason I, I purchased that pattern. I love to up upcycle. And this is a picture that I got off of Pinterest. And I thought this was fabulous. I love, love, love the way they utilize the scraps of denim on here. So. I'm going to create my own. It won't look like this, but I think I'm going to make it long like this. Uh, and it's probably going to come up real... Um, I'm probably going to do that video really soon because I'm itching to get it together because I do have denim that I'm ready to do something with. And when I saw this, I was like, I have got to try this. So I love the upcycle. We, I will be doing more upcycling videos. And I will say this with upcycling videos because I heard somebody else say on their video that a lot of times people people steer away from upcycling videos if they're um a fuller size or larger size because most upcycles are something large made small and that is true sometimes it is however i used to be a size um 22. upcycling does not have to be always something large made into something small you can find something small and add it to something that you're making to incorporate what um into a design that you're creating or a bunch of small things to create something large so if that's a series that someone someone wants to see me make something small and see how i can redesign it into something large i'm more than welcome to do that um like i say i used to be a size 22 so i want to say when i was making my clothes i was using pattern size i was like a between the 18 and the 20 22 was my largest i used fluctuated between 18 and 20 and i was using pattern sizes 24 24 maybe 26 depends on the pattern so i do have patterns of that size and i can make something to show you that you can upcycle something big something large which i'm going to do anyway but i if you want to see more of those videos just let me know um I want to tackle a bold pattern because I'm always hearing all the stigma behind bold and that they're a little more on a difficult side. So I plan on tackling a bold pattern as well as I want to make like an evening dress or after five dress. So this is a pattern that I have in my stash and I plan on doing that this year. This is a no me pattern that I fell in love with. I like the jacket, the skirt, and the pants. So I plan on making, I have up here that I'm gonna make a three piece collection, but I wanna make a four piece because I think I wanna make a top, a tank top to where these, the jacket can be worn open and I can wear with either the pants or the skirt. So that's one of my goals as well. I have this um, picture is from, I don't know if you can see it, but I just did a, a pattern review where I purchased this pattern. Uh, I don't know the name of it right now. But it's a carrier for your iron. <clears throat> iron, and I was saying that I got an Oliso, and I want to I want to create this carrier because when I go out of town, I like to I have small travel irons, but I'm in love with the bigger irons. So in case I do take the Oliso with me, I want to have a carrying case. So that's on my list. I have this on my list with the little girl and her doll because I plan on making this pattern as well for my granddaughter and her doll. I have a backpack up here because I want to make a backpack this year. You see this large purse right here. This is a leather. And I have remnants of leather that I want to... I don't want it to look pat, patchworky, but I do want to put it together. And I felt like this is a really good example of putting different pieces together to make something that's cohesive and stylish. So I plan on doing that. I did a... Um, this is one of my pattern hauls too. This is a no me pattern as well. I want to make this pattern in this style. So I have not gotten the wool that I want to use for this because I do want a variation of color like this is. It may not be this color. I would love to find like a, maybe a hot pink or a fuchsia because that's just my jam pink. Um, but I'm planning a trip to Fabric Mart. I'm Fabric Mart um, really soon with like within the next couple months and 
hopefully I'll find a good deal on wool when I get there. I know they do sell like a a box of uh, of remnant. I think it's a remnant box or a mystery box of wool. I thought about purchasing that. It's $50 for the box. I think it's 10 pounds, 20 pounds or something of that nature that you get. Um, I thought about purchasing that, but I think I'm going to wait and just wait until my trip because me and a couple of other ladies are going to go and just to see what I can find firsthand. I'd rather be in the store and pick out my own versus online, but we'll see what happens. But this is something I plan to make this year. So I, it's, I know it's cold now and I probably won't get to do it now, but hopefully next winter, the beginning of next winter in the fall, I'll be making this before the year is out. I also have um, a couple of written goals. I want to design, draft my own pattern, skirt, dress, and shirt. So I want to, I want to um, make my own skirt, dress, and shirt that I created myself from my own pattern. I want to do at least 10, at least 10. I probably shouldn't have put a number. I just want to do more upcycling videos. I want to do more sewing videos. I want to complete at least one duffel bag because I have the materials for it. I just haven't done it yet. And I want to um, do at least I'll, at least um, three of the new release patterns that are coming out, which there is one in particular that I plan on making with the new the new spring release that, that's coming out for Simplicity. There's one pattern that I already have my eyes on, and maybe I can spread out and do another one for the fall, another one for the winter. And I also, the No Me patterns are going to be coming out soon as well. Um, the new ones. So as soon as those come out and I and I see which ones I, I want for that, I would like to make at least two of those releases. Because right now I have another one that I was so excited about and I guess I lost my mojo. But I have the pattern cut out. It's in my bucket of, of bags where I just got to pull it out and sew it, sew it together. But I have one No Me pattern that I, I still want to make it but um i hadn't got to it yet but i have cut it out so that that's just my makes and what i would like to do for this coming up year and we'll see what i get done when i finish something i'm going to put a little check by it so at the end of the year i know what i accomplished and what i didn't i'm not going to hound myself about it we're just going to roll it over to 2024 but i will put a picture of my vision board up so you can see it better I also received, um, I did, like I said at the beginning, I received some items this week. I received, I received some patterns and they are, um, vintage patterns and I'll show you, these are just, I just like, I like vintage stuff. So this is one pattern and I thought this would be a nice flannel gown to do. I got this in case. Sometimes my kids ask me to make stuff for my grandchildren, so in case they decide they want me to make um, Halloween costumes this year, I said at least I'll have a, a pattern to go by. So I, I, got, I picked that up. But I got this because I think her name Created Curvy. I don't know her name, but her channel is the Created Curvy. She picked up something similar to this, and, there, and I think these are usually costume um patterns but her dress was something like this and when i tell you she made that into like the dress i mean you could wear it wherever you want to wear it It was just really nice when she made it and it did not look costumey at all so i thought that i might try that and i thought that this view was really cute so that's something that i would like to try now this i was really glad to get this and i was glad to get it before this view right here because I picked up another vintage pattern from the reuse center. And when I picked it up and got it home and pulled it out, it was just the instructions. The pattern wasn't in there. But then I saw this and this looked just like the pattern that I, I got from them. So even if I could use the pattern pieces as a guide to make that, because I, I still kept it. It's around here somewhere. I kept it and I want to make it. But it looks very similar to this. So between this pattern and the instructions and those instructions, hopefully I can construct my own vision of what I want to do. So that's just all for the patterns. It was just four. And um, this week I 
finished my shirt that I was talking about last week. <laughs> Y'all, I think I'm in love with this pattern. This butterwick pattern, that shirt gave me the blues, but now that I know how to make it, I think I love it. I was I made butterwick butterwick six eight five five, and I made you eight, and I made two of them. But I wanted to show them to you. So this is the one I was showing you. That it ooh, it gave me the blues, but I got it, y'all. I got it. I'm so happy. And I love the fabric, the way it falls. It's a little big, but it was my first one. So the second one is, like I said, I had to make two anyway, even though I, because I went ahead and cut out, I cut out um, two when I was cutting patterns th that day. So this one is a, is a little more fitting to me, but I like this one. I like it. I don't really care for this fabric with this pattern, but I made the shirt. I, I got through with it. I, did, I haven't hemmed it yet. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the hem, which is probably the same thing I'm going to do with the hem on the sleeve. It's just iron it under and fold it and then tack it by hand. So that that's my shirt that I got done. I'm feeling I'm feeling the I'm feeling that pattern. I'm feeling that pattern more for for fabric that lays the just the way it lay and it's kind of more flowy. So that is it will get five stars in my book. I don't remember what pattern this is, but this shirt right here caused me to um, sign up for sewing classes. I love this fabric. I jacked this shirt up the line. So this week I also signed up for Mimi G's sewing. Um, what is it? Sew, sew It Academy. And when I tell you, like after the first few classes, even if you sew, or you, I, I'm not going to say if you're an advanced sewist because you, you probably know all the stuff that she's teaching, but I don't, I don't take myself as to be an advanced sewist. And I'm at the beginning. I feel like maybe I'm at the beginning stages of, of intermediate or just high advanced beginner. And I just, it's some things that I want to know. So I'll know the correct lingo. Some things that I just don't know. And even in her beginning courses, there was stuff that was coming at me that I, I didn't know. It was stuff that she used. She demonstrated a sewing machine that I do have. And I didn't know that it did that because I had really hadn't had taken the time to use it as much because I just had this favorite machine that I like. But in, anyway, with that being said, the classes have really helped me. That's part of what helped me with my finish my shirt the correct way. And I'm so happy and that I, I'm taking that class. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm learning how to draft so I can draft my own pattern that fit my body. And one of the things with sewing is I wanted to be able to have clothes that fit me nicely. So Preferably when I get to a certain point in her class, I would have achieved that goal. Um, but that's that's kind of that's like kind of the life thing that happened this week. I did start that, that class, and I'm very I'm very glad that I started the class. I'm not an ambassador for her class or anything, but I really like it. I really like that I can go in my own place, and her her videos are very clear and concise, and you can understand for me. So um, if you if you are having trouble and you're thinking about taking a sewing class, I do recommend that that Sew It Academy. I do recommend that she even has I think where you can do the first five classes for free, just to, just to check it out. And, and I think that's what sold me when I looked at the first the first little five videos, and I was like, oh okay, well let me let me let me see what it's about. Even if I did it for a month, but I'm going to continue to do it until I get to wherever I feel I need to get to. Um, but yeah, this did it for me. This sent me into this sent me into a frenzy. Like I said, this was only three pieces, and it could have been just the fabric. But with that being said, I feel like the more you know, the more you grow, and the better you can get at something. So I need I needed those lessons to just even if I use a fabric that may not be appropriate for a pattern, I I still want to be able to know how to maneuver around it to get it to look good and oh maybe i can't use this fabric again but i made it through so yeah this one sent me to a whole nother a whole nother world a learning world which is fine 
so one more thing i i did get some fabric but i'll do a separate video for the fabric haul but i want to introduce you guys to myrtle i, I was given myrtle yesterday she's in a dress form she's a she's vintage she's very vintage her, her base is this is, has to be iron that she's on but i don't want the video to be too long but um yes yeah, myrtle has has seen her days but when i tell you i have mm -hmm. i am in love with this dress form i first of all i'm very thankful for the dress form i i like i don't even want to put pins in her I just want to adjust her so that it's, it's in a little bit better shape because she can be adjusted. So I like it. Uh, I want to, let me see. Let's see if it tell you when it was made. No, it doesn't tell me when it was made on that, um, that label, but I would love to know when this was made because the lady who gave this to me, she's an older lady, but this belongs to her mother. So I feel like I'm part of the family now because this is this has got to be an antique. But I am going to make a cover for her. I'm going to find a, a nice knit that can stretch over it once I get it together and like you know get the pieces straight or whatever. I'm going to find. I'm going to make a cover for. Her. And I just think she's gorgeous. So this is Myrtle, and she's new to the family, and she will be taken care of. And she will be cherished and she's not going anywhere i'm i'm in love with the base the base is so heavy like a wind can't blow myrtle over that's just awesome to me but anyway i don't want to take too much time um let's just take a little look at the fabric it's not that much fabric. i just i'll just go quickly i just don't want to i don't want to um, take all you guys' time. This is like a canvas, canvas um, material. It's really thick. I like the print on it, and I thought this would be a cute bag. And it's just a small piece. It might be just like half a yard. I like that. I like like this for a child. I like that blue. That'd be cute for like Easter shorts for a little boy. I like that. I like this. I thought this was pretty. I love the design in there. That's probably only like a half a yard. I, I especially, I have a granddaughter who loves Barbie. So I got this and I'm gonna make her something with that. I think this is so pretty. I love that purple. That's really cute. Now she had a lot of this, so I, I just, I mean, it was already folded up, so I just grabbed it. But I like the Disney princesses. And I have three three granddaughters, and I think I'm gonna have enough to make everybody something out of this. And I actually have a little bit of this already that I may be able to add to it. But even if I color blocked it with the colors that's in here, I think that's cute. Like this a lot of this fabric. So I got this it's from an Auburn Tiger. I'm not an Auburn Tiger, but I'm an Auburn fan. So I'm gonna make a bag right out of this and put my initials in the navy blue on there. I think that'd be cute. Now I got this. This is a um. I feel like this is a home decor fabric, but I think this will make a lovely vest. And I have that vest pattern. So I think I'm gonna use this to make that vest. I think this would be really nice. I got these two to put together some kind of way because I like them together for my granddaughters. I just thought this was cute. And you know, we had a new baby coming in the family and the mom likes Winnie the Pooh. So maybe it's it's a little girl, so maybe I can make her a little dress or a little pair of bloomers. It's because it's, it's not that much. It may be a half a yard, but that was cute. I like the colors in this one. And it, it reminds me of this. This fabric I was actually about to go and buy and the lady had enough. 
she had a bunch of it and I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm about to get this for free. And I was about to buy this exact same pattern. But I like, I feel like these could almost, almost they have a similar colors in here. So they remind me, like even if I didn't make a dress, I could make a quilt and make that work. Cause all the fabric is cotton. And I like these two together as well. And I, I don't, this is not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but I like this. I have no idea what I'm gonna make. I thought about making, cause it's just cotton. So I thought about making like a little cotton, maybe that bloomer set, cause I thought about pajamas actually. So maybe that bloomer set will be really cute. Somebody said they can't wait to see me make that. I can't wait to make it now that I, I think the bloomer set will be really cute. And I bought this from Amazon. I don't remember the price, but this is some Ankara, Ankara fabric, six yards. And I'm gonna have a tutorial coming up on this as well. I purchased this to go with some jeans. I gotta put it next to the, the blue jeans because I wanna make the jeans, uh, I wanna upcycle them. And I wanna use this as part of it, but I gotta see if it's gonna match. But either way, I'm gonna, if it doesn't, I'll save this for Black History Month where I'll make something for just using the Ankara fabric. I plan to make four outfits next month for Black History Month. And it also has orange in here and I have multiple sclerosis and I I think our month is April is multiple sclerosis awareness month and I will I know our ribbon color is orange. So if I don't get to make <clears throat> excuse me, if I don't get to make this for Black History Month, I would definitely make this for orange because it has something orange and I plan on making four for um, however many weeks is sometimes we have five weeks and April is kind of long. It might be a fifth, fifth Friday in that month. I don't know how to see, but each week I plan on making something orange and this has orange in it and I may say that for that. But I love this and I think it is very beautiful. I plan on getting some more in car fabrics. So when I get those fabrics in, I will show you, but this is the only one that I bought so far and I like it and I think it's really pretty. And I hope it goes with the jeans that I have because I have the upcycle that I want to share with you guys. And I hope to share it really soon. Um, and that's it. That's really it. That's everything from this week. My sewing plans, my goals, Myrtle. Welcome to the family, Myrtle. She's going to be well loved. I just, I can't believe I have this. So anyway, thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and so something fabulous. And don't forget to subscribe. I never tell y'all that. I always put the little subscribe, but if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that as well. And please comment, let me know your thoughts. If it's something that you would like to see me do or accomplish. I know I haven't put any, I haven't put many, um, like tutorial videos out but i do plan i really do guys i plan on getting with it getting with that because i have so many upcycle that's my jam is upcycle i have so many ideas in my head and i want to share them with you as well as i want to continue to take my classes because i'm really enjoying learning but um i have a couple of things that hope i'm hoping to do this week one of them is the denim jeans that i'm that i'm hoping that this fabric goes with if not I think this matches. <laughs> but we'll see what I do, guys. Have a wonderful week. Be blessed.